Are you going for SpaceX? Uh, I'm very sorry, we're not able to speak to journalists. Two men in a U-Haul. Not exactly a sophisticated recovery mission by the American spacecraft manufacturer SpaceX. They were greeted by the farmer who found their space junk and a horde of media. We, we, are, we are with SpaceX and um, I'm afraid we're not allowed to make any statements on behalf of SpaceX. Do you know why it didn't burn up? I, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to make any statements. It's on this very property where space and farming collided mere months ago. And today, SpaceX came out all the way to near Ituna, Saskatchewan to pick up four pieces of space debris that were supposed to have burned up in the atmosphere. The two SpaceX employees repeatedly told reporters they could not answer questions, but they did speak with Barry Sawchuk in a separate room. Well, they're trying to figure out why it's not burning up coming down. And, and it's uh, like hopefully once in a lifetime thing that they find uh, out why it didn't. This astronomer says the burnt up space trash was the trunk part of a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. In February, the spacecraft returned to Earth carrying four passengers from the International Space Station. She says the fallen space junk will not be an isolated incident. It's going to happen over Canada more often uh, because of the orbits that SpaceX has chosen to use, right? SpaceX dominates the use of orbit right now. They have uh, something like 62% of all satellites are SpaceX. Uh, so it's really important for um, Canadians to know, like the highest density of those, those Starlink satellites is right above our heads, right here in Southern Saskatchewan. Lawler says SpaceX needs to be transparent about how their operations are affecting the atmosphere and how they deal with situations like this one. There's no public admission of this. There's no apology. There's no, right? Like they could have killed people. They could have killed people in Saskatchewan. Those pieces are huge, right? What if it had fallen on Regina? What if it had fallen on Barry Sawchuk's house, right? Like it absolutely would have killed people. SpaceX paid Sawchuk an undisclosed sum for the debris. Now the farmer says he's ready to move on from the space saga and hit the fields once again. Just get back to work. Just to keep getting ready for spraying and stuff like that. In the meantime, Sawchuk says all the money he received from SpaceX for the debris will go directly into funding the new Ituna rink. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, near Ituna.